Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Gran Turismo 4. And in this episode of our GT Mode playthrough, part 61, we're going to be doing some more one make races. Our one make race of the day is the Daihatsu Kopen race. Tiny little thing that we drove back in the first coffee break of the first episode, the B license. You know, I remember that, where I was driving through a ginormous maze of cones. But last episode, we did the Spitfire Cup with a Triumph Spitfire, and they gave us this as a prize, this unique uh, red wine color with a creamy top on it. I'm gonna keep that just to have it on display. But um, we drove a light blue, and I got rid of that as soon as they gave me that thing, and I knew I needed the extra money. But uh, we, we broke even last episode, and I think we're gonna break even in this one too, because this is a cheap car, and this event that we're going to actually pays a lot. I don't know why. It's a license, and it's just three single races, but 7,500 credits for each win. That's 22,500 in total. And this car is about 15,000 credits um, in price. So it's good at new cars. I don't know what clax classics that Daihatsu has. Maybe I should take a peek at that. Yeah, they got two of them. There's detachable top from O2, then active top. Okay, so one you know goes up and down. The other one you just you know kind of take it off. They're both 63 horsepower, and I like this one because it's stock color is prettier or whatever the heck. Um, definitely not going with that. I like the red. I really like the blue. I'm not interested in that or that. And you got the white and the other white. The silver is great too, but I think we've driven a few silver cars lately, so we'll go with shining red. Yeah, it's it's 15,000 credits, so we're gonna make a profit in this episode. All right, what does Daihatsu consider a classic? I don't think anything by them is an actual classic. Oh, it's the 1963 midget, the, the first one. They gave us that in like a light blue color, and it looked kind of nice, but I never gave it a test run or anything. I still have an arcade mode. Maybe I should add that for extended footage here because we're in Daihatsu. Well, let's get out of here. Get this show on the road. See what our first race in the Copen race is. They might be tuning these cars and all kinds of crap considering how tough it's going to be. Short tracks. Sakuba Circuit, Driving Park Motorland Forward, and Autumn Ring Mini also forward. So they're all forward direction stuff. You're just two laps at Sakuba. It's funny that I was talking about low horsepower in the last episode with the Spitfire having 72. But then this has 63. And this might just weigh more. Look at it. We got dark blue, the stupid yellow, the dark green, two shades of white. Or maybe one of them silver, I don't freaking know. That one's white. 64 point race. Yesterday we were having 53 point races with Spitfire. No, it's interesting, it's got the active top. Mine is the same material as the rest of the car, so it almost looks like it doesn't even have one. No, so you could just take the whole thing off. And then the other one I guess is like the cloth material stuff. That goes up and down. I maybe had it backwards, I don't know. Ugh. Come on. I mean, this looks more like the the, the the detachable one, considering I don't know where it would go. If you just press a button, the other one, I think you press the button. Okay, I am going to pass you. I need to make as much progress as I can in the, the shortest amount of time, because all we have is a short amount of time. He is driving into me. I probably deserve that. Put it in third gear. Oh my gosh, I cannot imagine how the hell they want us to win this race. There's no qualifying, and they stretch it out so damn much. They always do this at Tsukuba. This game loves Tsukuba. And they're making me hate it by doing this so much. Uh, I would like it more if they had half the amount of races this track as they do. There's so many tracks they could race that way more. Freaking locusts outside make as much noise as possible. I don't think this race is winnable at all with the car in stock. Like, this is just... It literally looks impossible. Looks like they might have like a, a slight more horsepower than me in the straight because they kind of pulled away. I'm going to gain back in the corner. To be honest, I might just buy some NOS. <laughs> that might do it. And put it in fourth and then right back down to second and take the spot on you. I think we might be able to get up to second position, but... Third for sure. That might be it. We ain't getting to the, the blue guy up there. Come on. Apex that corner. And now you 
slow me down. Well, I'm going to go for the inside in this corner. Take this spot on you. That green looks a lot better whenever you actually see it on the car during the race than it did whenever we were at the dealership. But I'm still proud again with the red. Dude, like, I can't catch this yellow guy. That, that's not happening. Why are you hitting me? Like, I'm so blatantly there. I hit you because I'm human. You hit me because you're stupid. Well, that should be a little extra credits. What was third place, 2,500? Yes, it is. Okay, that's nice. If I ran the race again, and then lost again, third place, then we'd make up for the money I'm about to spend on the NOS. That's just the first thing that comes to mind. DRS. That did not exist in Formula 1 whenever this game came out. It's probably Daihatsu Racing Shop or some shit. We'll go to Engine, all the way to the right end, and 5,000 credits. So, so far, we're only losing 2,500, so we gained that extra 2,500. And, you know, we'll still make a profit. Hopefully this is all I need to do. Let's not go anywhere else. Let's just get right back in there and give another go. Oh my gosh, this color selection is garbage. <laughs> you know, white, white, gray, dark colors, the black, and, and me and the, the green guy at the back of the field making it colorful, the, the blue one. Just had to have all the bad colors in here. Okay, so, nitrous is the R1 button. I'm already just using it so I can catch up to him in this straight. Okay, let's get into second gear and step on that nitrous. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. Beating him in the straights. I'm going to use it in the corner. I can beat him in the corner just by driving good. There we go. He he's, does not like giving me room. Is it possible that I can have the lead by the end of the lap by getting this OP strat out? Oh, man, using the NOS going into the curve, that might not be the safest decision. I mean, we're going to get the second going into this hairpin over here. We're <laughs> 1.9 seconds back. Okay, oh, man, I'm running out of front grip. He is going to cut me off, and I'm going to drive off the track because I have no brain cells. Wow, great job, JC. I was trying to go around him, but I ran out of room to do that because he's being a psycho. I think we could have got the leader in the first lap if I didn't suck, but that is not the case. I, I, I do the sucking. Put it back into third gear. Nah, let's just step on that NOS again. Zoom right up to him at the start finish line. Yeah, this is going to be very easy from here on out. And they don't even count NOS as part of the, uh, the A spec rating and whatever. It feels like a really cheap way to get the job done, but I could tell within like the first half of the first lap that this was just not happening like they were so spread out and i was so just on the same pace as them for two laps there's my moolah my 7500 we're, we're gonna make some money in this one anyways next up driving park motorland for three laps i barely used up half the nos in that first race whenever i was using it the entire time so Let's make an adjustment so that I'm going way, way towards power, and then it doesn't last as long. You can see this thing really zoomed through the straightaways. Let's put it at 80. And again, with the boring colors, we got white, whitish gray, gray, and black. And then you got the guy in the dark blue along with the, the red that I got. So that's good stuff. Now, we're all really close together starting this race. As opposed to Zakuba, it was way, way stretched out, and I hate it when they do that. I mean, I like it if I've got a great car for that, and there's some kind of parity, but this is just all like the simultaneous, all driving the same speed. It's difficult to find an advantage on it. The short length of the race is not that easy at a track like Zakuba. Here, when the, the guy in the black car is making the blue one check up, I am flying off into the grass, but I am going to get this third place position. It's just so much easier. You put them a little bit closer together, and everything's quite fair. Got a fighting chance. You don't even have qualifying at Sakuba, and they stretch that shit out. The chances of you winning if you have to start last are impossible, and you can't qualify, so it's just dumb. You gotta have a better car. You know they don't go for some kind of advantage. They all have the same car in stock. They start where they start, and then none of them will pass each other. So, a reminder, we got two laps to go. Got these two leaders in front of me. I haven't even touched the Nosus yet. 
I'm considering it, but I know that I'm being really fast with this curve up here. As we were last time. Go, 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 go. We're getting there. I don't know what I'm doing so much better than this guy. Or why I'm having such a advantage that I couldn't have at Tsukuba here. This guy's on the slide. He's backing up the track, so he's pushing his car. No one else is, but this guy, I guess. Okay, that might not have been the best place to get the brakes and try to apex the curve into the straight. Damn, he got a better run off of me. Like, all that I gained is gone because of the angle I went through the corner. We got a whole ass lap left. Still not use the NOS. I don't think I'm gonna... Why am I getting tight here? He's not getting tight here. I think I'm just dumb. I am losing some front end grip. I know they do some tire strats in this game, that's for sure. Yeah, we're fast in this curve. I'm right up behind him. We're gonna get up on the outside. Maybe we could have ourselves a nice, badass motorland thumbnail. Where I'm driving to the grass because this guy's a stupid bastard. You little shit. You little fucking shit. Let's fucking go. I'm killing you. You you are such an asshole. I I am going to run you over real hard and stuff. You got the thumbnail? Now you can suck a big fat one. Fuck you. Remember first damn episode of racing this game, you know, part two with the, the Volkswagen Lupo went to beginner course they tried crushing him in the wall. That's what that shit feels like. It never ends. And we won by point seven fifty five. I could have won without the NOS. And I, I was gonna. But the guy in the white car is a cheater. But on to our final race, Autumn Ring Mini forward for three laps as well. All right, now we're getting some color in there. We got dark blue, yellow, dark green. I mean, they're dark, they're still colors. That's a 61 point race. We're all driving the same car. Active top, d detachable top, same thing. I have done nothing but add the NOS, which would not count to your A-spec rating. It's not like a part of the car. It's like an extension that... I don't know how to explain it. Use some of that NOS right there to get a run off the corner like they're getting. They're kicking my butt. That's what's happening. I'm not even using it now. So they get a run in one place. I get a run in another, but I don't care. I want to get the same run they get and then actually get an advantage whenever I get my run. <laughs> Down to second gear... Okay, up to third. Copen looks nice and yellow. I didn't say that though. I don't know what you're talking about. I was in second gear, they told me to put it in second gear. Now I'm over revving. Okay, I'm losing speed on this guy in the straight. Let's get over there. And then slow it down. I was not planning on passing you here, but I had that great of a corner. Okay, let's boost past him because he's going to run me off the track like they do. Am I supposed to be in third gear right now, or am I supposed to be in second? I have no idea. Whatever it is, I mean, I'm catching this guy. I'm about to get to him. I use a little too much NOS. I could have tried doing this without NOS whatsoever again, but I don't feel safe after what Tsukuba did to me. They start me out with that shit, I get the NOS, and then I use it all the freaking time. And they were slaughtered. A win by five seconds over the other Copens this time. Yeah, 5.6 seconds. And gain 1.5 in just 15 seconds of the track. And there's our final profit from these races. I don't know if I really need this car anymore. It might be good for like a, a compact car event uh, or some kind. But this is Japanese, so it's not eligible for the Euro hot hatch or whatever. Mm. They already gave us the classic midget. The Hatsu Storia X4. Why the hell would I want that? I am 40... 3% into the game, and they're giving me that. I don't want this junk. Fuck this junk. And fuck this junk, too.
Why am I hopping into the Isuzu 117 Coupe? Well, you're going to have to find out whenever tomorrow's episode comes out. We got ourselves a, a nice big adventure to advance on in this car from 1968. But we're at 43.4% game completion exact, 16,716 A-spec points. See you next time. That's that and episode over.